Stereotactic guided breast biopsy is designed to calculate the exact location of the breast abnormality. Calcifications and masses are examples of the types of abnormalities that can be biopsied using stereotactic guidance. Hologic's breast biopsy systems are compatible with all major prone and upright stereotactic systems. In this presentation, we will be featuring the Atex Sapphire console with the Aviva breast biopsy device on the Hologic Selenia with digital stereo Loke 2. Diverse needle options are available to address all of your patient needs, regardless of lesion location or breast tissue. The Aviva family of products offers 9 and 12 gauge biopsy device options for stereotactic breast biopsy as well as petite options allowing treatment of a broad patient spectrum. Set the system to the appropriate approach prior to positioning the patient. Once the patient is ready, position her on the stereotactic upright system and compress the breast. The technologist selects the image acquisition mode and x-ray technique that is appropriate for the lesion and breast composition. A scout film and pair of stereo images are taken. Enhancement tools and filters allow image manipulation to improve contrast and sharpness and to help ensure accurate positioning and localization of the area of interest. The technologist initiates one or more stereotactic targeting sequences. A Cartesian coordinate system determines the precise position of the lesion in the X, Y, and Z planes. The area of interest is then targeted by the technologist or radiologist by marking the lesion location in both views of the stereo pair. Once targeting is complete, coordinates indicating biopsy needle position relative to target position are transmitted to the display window on Stereo Loc 2. At this time, a syringe containing additional anesthetic can be attached to the Y-valve. This permits additional anesthetic, ensuring patient comfort. The disposable needle guide is placed in the needle guide holder on the adapter using aseptic technique. With the Z dialed to the most negative position, the Aviva Stereotactic adapter is secured to the stage and tightened in place by turning the wheel. Check to make sure the adapter is secure, not tilted. Turn the console on if you power down after setup and test. Remove the protective sheath from the biopsy device and assemble the introducer into the device, leaving the protective sheath on the introducer. Before putting the device on the adapter, remove the sheath from the introducer and confirm the device is in the pre-fire or cocked position with the white button on the firing mechanism fully depressed. The Aviva device is placed into the adapter by sliding the needle through the needle guide and locking into place at both the front and back of the adapter. Check the security of the device by gently pulling back on the device. The Aviva device is then Z0 to the reference point on the compression paddle with the Stereo Loc 2. The needle must be backed away from the breast before initiating the automatic targeting sequence. Activate the automatic targeting system, motor enable and target position, to move the device to the identified X and Y coordinates. Cleanse the skin surface thoroughly with an antiseptic solution. Using the manual Z dial located on the stage, move the Aviva device with the needle tip to the skin surface of the breast to ensure accurate anesthetic placement. To increase patient comfort during the biopsy, an anesthetic is injected to numb the skin surface at the area of interest. Deeper tissue will then be anesthetized by injecting deep to the target site. The tip of the biopsy needle, when fired, will extend beyond the target site, so it is essential to administer anesthetic beyond this point. Remember, if a syringe of pain medication has been attached to the Y-valve, this pain medication delivery system can be used to assist with patient comfort as well. After the device has been fired, a skin nick is made by a surgical blade to allow easier entry prior to advancing the needle to the biopsy site. Manually advance the needle into the breast until the appropriate Z differential is reached. Before firing the Aviva device, take a pair of pre-fire stereo images to determine that the area of interest is correctly targeted. Activate the view stage cursors to ensure that the injection of anesthetic has not caused any lesion movement. The device is then fired by fully depressing the green button on the remote firing mechanism, advancing the needle to the target. The technologist takes a pair of post-fire images 
to ensure the center of the aperture is at the area of interest. Cores can be taken at any clock position at the discretion of the physician and depending on the location of the area of interest by rotating the thumb wheel. The position of the aperture opening or clock position is indicated by numbers located on the middle section of the device and by the tactile line on the thumb wheel. To prepare for the procedure, the physician places his or her hand on the thumb wheel at the rear of the device. The physician depresses the foot pedal to activate the biopsy system and continues to depress the foot pedal throughout the tissue acquisition sequence. Tissue acquisition occurs every 4.5 seconds. Typically, six to eight core samples are adequate for pathology purposes. An audible beep indicates you're at the end of a cutting cycle and it's safe to turn the device to the next clock position. When the necessary core samples have been retrieved, release the foot pedal, at which time you will hear a double beep, and switch the console to lavage mode by pushing the button marked lavage. Lavage mode delivers saline to the biopsy site and aspirates the biopsy cavity, allowing loose tissue and other fluids to be cleansed from the site while preparing the site for marker placement. Lavage the cavity 360 degrees until the fluid in the collection chamber turns from red to light pink, indicating the cavity is clear. To begin core retrieval, leave the console in lavage mode and disconnect the saline line at the proximal end of the Y valve by removing it from the yellow connector. Return the console to biopsy mode. The cores are now ready to be retrieved from the tissue collection chamber. Rotate the collection chamber counterclockwise to disengage the container. Remove the tissue filter basket and place a new tissue filter basket in the collection chamber. Place the collection chamber back onto the device and then reconnect the saline line at the yellow connector. Return the console to lavage mode. Using your fingers, grasp the thin metal wire at the top and around the tissue filter basket. To avoid losing any samples, before pulling up on the wire, tilt the tissue filter basket toward the specimen collection dish. Use the wire spatula or forceps to separate the tissue samples on the prepared surface to be imaged. Take the specimens to be imaged. Return the console to lavage mode. Continue to lavage and aspirate the biopsy cavity while awaiting specimen image results. This will assist in preparing the biopsy site for biopsy site marker placement. When you have verification from the specimen imaging that microcalcifications have been successfully retrieved, return the console to biopsy mode to close the aperture of the device. Remove the device from the adapter by lifting up on the rear latch and sliding the device off, leaving the introducer in the breast. You are ready to begin marking the biopsy site by placing a biopsy site marker in the biopsy cavity. For this demonstration, we will be using the Secure Mark for Aviva biopsy site marker. Insert the Secure Mark for Aviva deployment device into the introducer. The deployment device will lock into the introducer with an audible click. Deploy the marker by fully depressing the plunger until it clicks. Take a single stereo image to check placement of the marker. A final zero degree image is recommended to compare your post-procedure outcome to your initial scout image from the beginning of the procedure. After confirmation, remove the introducer and marker assembly from the adapter by pinching the tabs to release from the adapter. Decompress the breast by slowly releasing compression paddles. Immediately apply pressure to the biopsy site. When pressure is no longer needed, apply a Steri-Strip or other bandage to the biopsy site. Help the patient to a more comfortable position and discuss post-biopsy care. Appropriately dispose of all used product, such as device, marker deployment device, canister, etc.